um, recite your poem by William Blake and Sarah Tisdale. Um, your first poem, Eternity. Eternity by William Blake. He who blinds himself with joy does so in life destroy, but he who kisses the joy as it flies lives in eternity. Okay, next. April by Sarah Tisdale. The roofs are shiny from the rain. The, the sparrows twitter as they fly. And with the windy April grace does the the little clouds go by. Yet the back yard's bare and brown with only one unchanging tree. I could not be so sure about spring. Say that it sinks in me. Tell about a story in Anderson's fairy tales. Okay, so I'm going to tell about the emperor's new clothes. There was once an emperor who was very fond of um, clothes. One day there were two rogues that told him that they they had a thread and they can sew some some very nice um clothes and the and the emperors told them that they they can he can he wanted to see them but but the rogue said that only um, if you're a fool and not fit for your work, you cannot see the the clothes. So, so, so the king, so the, so the um, rogue set to work, and and the king paid them. But they, but every time the, but they they didn't use any of of the thread, cause. Uh, but they o but they only pretended that that they were working with it. The king was very curious what the 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 um the 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 clothes looked like. So he sent one of his servants. And when the servants came there, he was sh shocked that he couldn't see anything, and he thought he was a fool. And then and and then. And the, and the rogue said that aren't the clothes nice? The 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 servant didn't want didn't want to tell them that he can't see it. So he said it is wonderful. And then he told the king that it was a very nice clothes. And then and then the next day the king sent another of his servants and that servant was also very was was shocked to see that he can find, see it again and and he he and he also said that it was nice because he didn't want to, to, to tell anyone that he couldn't see it and then and then finally the the robes were finished and they 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 showed it to the king and the king was very shocked that he couldn't see it. But he but he just pretended that he can. And then they they made the him wear it. And then they 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 went he went outside and a a, 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 a boy said that he doesn't have anything on. And the the whole crowd was was shouted the same and the king was ashamed and the robes were were not there anymore they went to their house full of the gold and gold and the end okay and now tell about the story from the 30 famous story the fountain of youth okay there was once uh, a voyager named juan ponce Juan Ponce de Leon, and then he went to America and attacked it. The, in the, the Indians there were very kind.
But but said made them slaves and and the, and captured them. And some were killed. And then um there was uh the one day he heard that one of the young slaves um said that when he that he that he was getting old and the 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 um that that Indian slave said that in Bellini Bellini um no one gets very old. Then he asked the servant where Bellini is, and he said that there in Bellini there was a fountain of the youth that if you drink and bathe in it you will never get old so Ponce de Leon um, boarded his ship to find Buiwini but he never found it and he asked the Indians there but the Indians there didn't know what we were and then um, he he went back and back to his to his home to rest. Then he went back to find Bivini, but this time he didn't find it. And he and the Indians there were very mad that, that they he wanted to and that when he went back he brought in a, a whole army to fight the Indians there and when he fight he was hit by an arrow and then they went back to a place, but there was no cure for it, and he died. That's all. Select a passage to read from the Undersense tale. Go. The Nightingale. Many years ago, there was an emperor in China who lived in a splendid place. Again, splendid? Place. Palace. Oh. He was very proud of his palace. He was greedy, greatly pleased, and he was greatly pleased when travelers came from all over the world to see it. These travelers wrote many books about it, but they also wrote about a nightingale, which sang beautifully in the forest nearby. The emperor had never heard of the nightingale till he read about it in a book. Then he called his servants. Why has no one ever told me about the wonderful singing bird, he said. Bring it to me and let the bird sing for me this evening. But his men had never seen the bird and no one in the court knew anything about it at last the kitchen in the kitchen they came upon a poor little girl one of the lowest of the cooks who said oh dear me yes i know the nightingale well oh how she sings the poor fisherman know her well and and every night when i I'm going through the forest to my mother's home. It sings for me very sweetly. Gladly, the girl offered to take the king's servants to the forest and, and hardly had they entered the woods when the nightingale began to sing. The man listened in wonder, never before had they heard much music. Little nightingale, little nightingale, the girl cried out quite loudly. Or most gracious emperor wishes so much that you sing for him. With the greatest pleasure, answered the nightingale. So, so, 
So saying, the bird flew in front of them, and they all went back to the palace. The whole court was present, and and even the kitchen maid was permitted to stand by the emperor's chair. The nightingale hopped merrily upon the the golden upon a golden perch and began to sing. It sang so sweetly that great tears came into the emperor's eyes. Stay with us, little nightingale, he cried. And you shall have everything you wish. I will stay, said nightingale, but I am paid enough. I have seen tears in the emperor's eyes. So, so it it came to pass that Nightingale and had a splendid cage. It was given everything that she wished. One day, 